everyone. It's Budget with Mama Bear. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today is Mondays with Mama. I have someone with me today. <laughs> you can say hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I have my son today, and we, like I talked about earlier, are going to be working on how we're starting him on his budget journey now that he is ready for it. All right, so before we do that, I have a little unboxing to do. So I received this box from, you know, this company. I've showed them before, Rose Forever. And I thought it would be appropriate today to show because it'll look kind of nice in here. So they have a new product out. And they were sweet enough to reach out to me. Can you take the box? and share it with me. So they are now making candles. And when I say candle, this is a beast. Like it is heavy. Can you wanna feel how heavy this is? Oh yeah, that is heavy. So let me tell you a little bit about their candles because their roses were amazing. But this here is a vegan friendly soy wax candle. It is their luxury line. So these are nice, this has a glass, um, vase jar that it comes in. It is 6.3 inches high. So it is a big one. <laughs> it's four and a half pounds. Like when we were lifting it, like I can do weights with this. So it's four and a half pounds. It has four wicks and this will burn 150 hours. There are lots of different um, scents. And this one here I chose is called Sunlit Serenity. It has orange leaves, jasmine, lemon, orange blossom, and um, amber in this. So there's a lot of good things. You want to sniff it? Mm. Okay. Mm, it's nice. It smells really good. <laughs> so we are going to use that today. I'll move our plant out of the way. But, I mean, this is really, really fancy really nice and because all of my viewers are watching today you get a special discount so if you would like to try one of these candles you'll get $25 off if you use my code mama bear 25 I'll put it right here for you and the link that's in my description box all the information about the rose forever candle line is in my description box Please go check them out. Talk about quality. I have always loved their stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and light the candles today. Let's see. Because I think this would be good for us to have going while we are filming. What do you think? You think I that's think a good so. idea? Needs, All right. I think it's a mood setter for sure. <laughs> yeah, and I picked serenity on purpose because you know who who doesn't need peace and serenity, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to get started? Ready to go. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're both like trying to squeeze in here, but okay. <laughs> so one of the first things I want to talk about, I have to, I have to pull my seat in because I have to sit. Hold on, son. All right, one of the first things that I wanted to talk about with you is now that we've got, we're home and you're kind of getting focused on your financial journey, what is one of your biggest goals that you have? Um, I think uh, one of the biggest goals that I have for myself is obviously paying some debt off. Uh, that's definitely one of the biggest things I would like to get done first. I think another huge goal of mine would obviously someday, hopefully in the future to and obviously to more of a long term goal, but just to be able to save money to own my own home someday. And that is definitely a common thing with um, young adults your age. So do you mind telling them how old you are? Uh, I'm 21 right now. Almost 22. Almost 22, yeah. <laughs> In a month, so, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that is something that a lot of you start thinking about in that age. I mean, I did when I was that age. Never thought it would happen. It didn't happen for a little while after, you know. It was in my late 20s when I bought my first home. So, but I, do you notice that t today it seems almost, 
daunting to think about how much money you have to save up to buy a house. Absolutely. I mean, part of me sometimes feels like it's at least another 10, 15 years out of my reach. I honestly, it's what it feels like right now. But from, I don't know, something that I feel like hopefully with this budgeting we're going to figure out today, I think it's going to shorten that for sure. Exactly. So if you never get started, you can never start on your journey and you never know where you can end up and how quickly it can happen unless if you get focused. So we're going to focus his budget for his long term goals and also his short term goals because we had some eye openers when we went through this, right? Yeah, we did. Actually, uh, there was a few that I absolutely found out that was interesting. Uh Eating out was probably the biggest expense that I had for sure by a mile. Uh, I had no idea that I was eating out that much, one. Uh, two, I had no idea how much money I was spending on food. A uh, really big eye-opener for sure when we sit down and look at the numbers and look at the bank statement overall, but yeah. Okay, so first thing we did when we looked at his budget is... We waited for him to get a paycheck because he started a new job and we wanted to make sure we knew exactly around the average what he's going to be making because he is hourly, but he does get a lot of overtime in, which is great. Then what I did was I had him print out his September bank statement because like most 20 somethings, they use their debit card. Um, and so that is a great way to track what you actually spent from the month previous. So we did that. You want to grab that sheet where we have like a summary? Yeah. Right okay. And we'll put that here so everybody can see. And I had him color code it. So I said, okay, highlight all of the gas spending in purple, eating out in blue, which we found that was a lot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, adult beverages, because he is 21. Uh, clothes, entertainment, personal, miscellaneous. Those were the categories that we were seeing in his spending. So... He added up all of that, and then I said, okay, this is how much you spent in that month on your expenses. Let's look at how much of a percentage of the money you spent went in each one of these categories. And like you said, eating out was 45% of your money that you spent. Almost half. Yeah. yeah. Literally almost half. <laughs> and it, well, interesting, in le interesting was entertainment was only 7%. So I would have thought it would have been higher, mm -hmm. but really it's, he's eating on the run, right? Or going out with friends and their, their big thing is they go out and eat dinner. Yeah. So this is something that I highly suggest if you're just starting out is to really see where, what categories your money is going and then looking at where is it really going? Do I really want my money to go there or do I want it to go into my bigger goals? So how did you feel about this process? I thought it was very easy, honestly. And uh, I thought it was actually a lot harder to budget or kind of actually like look at the numbers more. But it was actually very easy when we sat down and actually went through it. Um, I feel really good about it, actually knowing where my money is going. And I think the best part about it was the, the big wake up call and the realization on where my money is going and how I'm using it. Because that's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. So we took this and then we just started looking at numbers. So I use this just this paper I had because we all you always want to just, you know, you can grab a little spiral, anything. Just get some scratch paper and just get this stuff down. Then you can make it look cute, right? Okay, so we're going to set that aside and then we're going to get into the next sheet. We kind of just started jotting things down. So we looked at, okay, this is what he's making, gets paid two times a month. Um, we looked at the spending. We thought about how much he wants to spend. We looked at his bills, um, things like that. And then we kind of came up with a rough plan. Okay, so this is kind of the messy version. All right, then we got, uh, go ahead and get that other sheet that we did. Then we got a little more organized. So... His whole goal is to save, right? So you're going to look at his rent and go, whoa, that's cheap, but he's living at home and it's just going to cover some incidentals here. It's a way to kind of get on track of paying rent um, and all of that on his own. 
But really, by helping him out, by having him live here, we want him to save his money. So he worked out a budget on when he goes gets paid his first paycheck, we took an average on where how much he would want to spend. So why don't you go through all of this with them? So um, starting out, um, rent obviously, kind of just breaking it up into two weeks. Uh, and loans, obviously, that's with my student loans and from college. Um, kind of just looking at like where we're gonna have to start on what we're starting with the pay. Uh, gas, uh, I really only spend I don't know, around roughly $150 a month in gas, uh, just because, you know, I'm driving from work back home and, you know, just, it's, it's not too bad of a commute. So I don't have to spend a whole lot and my fuel mileage in my car is pretty, pretty good. Um, eating out, um, that's something that, uh, we basically cut back a little bit more on. We, uh, we kind of didn't want to go too deep because uh, if we went too deep, we wouldn't have probably would be realistic about it. But, and that's like your lifestyle. That's kind of what you do right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love going eating out with my friends on the weekends. We love catching up and going to have a good dinner together after a long week of work. Um, also, like during my work days, uh, I'm I'm running around a lot, so it's always on constant go go go. So I have to kind of just eat out sometimes and maybe a change I could make is starting to make my own lunch for sure. But um, going down to like beverages and alcoholic stuff, I really don't drink a whole lot. Uh, it's more just kind of like an occasional one after a, a night of hard day of a hard day or, uh, you know, just, you know, on my Saturday when I'm watching the Boise State game or some college football, um, it's just something I enjoy doing and it's nice relaxation and reset for me. Clothes. Um, I you do, do like, like clothes. Your clothes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do like clothes. Um, I mean, granted nice clothes are not cheap. Uh, so I figured the amount of money that we have here for two weeks is very reasonable because I'm not going to the store every day to go buy something. Well, we also talked about if you don't spend this is we're going to keep track so that way you'll see it'll add up what mm -hmm. you're saving in your bank account for clothes where if you want to go buy that those brand new shoes those spend those expensive tennis <laughs> shoes that you do you know you'll have that money saved up for it and it might be over 200 but if you've saved for a couple months you'll have that money right there ready and, to go yeah going back to the clothes um i think like why the spending was a little bit higher this when we looked at it just because you know i was getting started with a new job i had to buy new clothes for that job so i think that's why it was a little higher than it probably will be in the future um entertainment obviously you guys might think that's probably pretty low for someone my age um i just work a lot of hours uh i'm working 50 60 hour weeks um yeah. it's it's a lot don't get me wrong it's i think it's good for me it's great for me um I do treat myself, uh, it's not like I don't do anything, but uh, I just, I've kind of come to enjoy being home more and uh, just kind of going out here once, here and there with a couple of my buddies and just doing that. But um, going down to the personal, I we didn't really, didn't really spend a whole lot. I mean, I kind of Well, we looked at like and, what you get on Amazon, like true, he yeah. likes certain hair products or... Just little things here and there, just like personal shampoo, yeah. spending, personal spending, basically. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, we had a birthday party not too long ago for my buddy, uh, one-year-old, and uh, just bought him a little present, and that was another thing. And, yeah. Uh, so now we're going down to savings. Um, I think, save put I may, like we said earlier, um, I really, 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 really want to put an, as much money as I can away to save and start building that m money for my future. And I think 500 putting around a thousand a month is honestly a goal, a big goal of mine. I mean, we're here, I'm home right now. I'm not paying uh, a constant rent. Um, uh, just your car's paid yeah, off cars. My car's paid off. Yeah. Uh, so I think 
doing this, by doing this, I, I really think that's going to start putting me in a spot that's going to really benefit me later on for sure. Yeah. And then we also talked about, you know, but in one month he will get his thousand dollar emergency fund. And then the second month he's going to work on all the rest of the savings going towards a high yield savings account that he'll be able to open um, once he gets another thousand to be where the money where he doesn't touch like that is for long term savings. So which we're is doing perfect that. for my long term goals. Right. Yeah. Now, when we get to the buffer, you're going to see, wow, that's a lot of money to put in a buffer. But he is a debit card swiper. And this is the beginning of really being conscious of spending. So we thought it would be safer to keep a little cushion started in his checking account. So if by chance he accidentally swipes too much, it's not going to get incur fees for not having the money in there. So we're going to build up a little bit of, of a buffer in his checking account. I was explaining to him, I have that in mind as well because my husband likes to swipe. And so it's something you want to think about if you are someone who doesn't spend with cash to keep that buffer in there because we don't want to give our money away. And that's what happens with fees. So we're going to build up a little bit of a buffer in his checking account, and then you'll see that money will eventually go towards paying his bills off and then putting into his savings. Okay, so that's where we're at right now with that one. Then I made him some budget sheets that we could definitely work together um, and he can keep in a notebook. So I'm going to zoom in just a tad so you can kind of see how we filled this out. So in week one, we budget under, but he actually made a little bit more than that. Um, and this is for a two week. He's paid biweekly. OK, we worked out his rent and his loan for fixed expenses. And then we put in the money here for gas, eating out, beverages, clothes, entertainment and personal. And then we have the $500 for savings. Now, one thing that happened this week, and he's all, Mom, I am, I'm spending more on my car than I thought, but I don't really have a car section. So I put it down in the sinking funds to actually put in $25 every two weeks to so 50 bucks a month mm -hmm. to see if that's going to be enough and took that out of the buffer. So the buffer actually went down a little bit because he realized he also needs a car sinking fund. All right. So that is his budget sheet. What do you think about this? I think it's great. Um, personally, I mean, yeah, I mean, us us younger guys, I mean, we love our vehicles. And uh, um, I mean, for me, like I just, you know, I think having that little uh, extra section for my car, I think that's going to be very good. I think still having a two hundred something two hundred thirteen dollar buffer is going to be good for me because I don't think I'm going to use it, but I think it's still going to be nice to have that cushion. And um, I think this is going to be very beneficial for me. And I'm just I'm excited to really like start to really track my spending and learn how to save better. OK, so speaking of that, I made a very simple budget sheets for him because I don't want to make it too complicated where he's like, this is too much work. OK, because he's like you said, he works a lot. He's limited on his time when he has free time. He wants to enjoy himself. So this is just for something to keep on his desk um, where he can track his expenses daily. When he gets home and he goes upstairs to his room, he can write in anything that he spent his money on and he can track that. So do you understand how this goes? Yeah. So if you like eight out, you would put eat out spent, you know, twenty six thirty five or whatever. Yeah. Um, the car money that you spent, um, things like that. So it's an easy, it's not very complicated. There's other expense sheets that are out there that are a little more, you know, in detail, but I thought I need to make it simple so he'll do it. Okay, so this will sit on your desk. Okay. Then at the end of the week, he's going to create a bi-weekly kind of like summary on how he's doing. He'll put the categories the starting balance, how much he spent, and what he has left. Because remember, this is bi-weekly, so he needs to see how much I have for the next week. And that was one question, remember, that you brought up, is how am I going to keep track of how much I actually have and how much I spent? Yeah. Well, this is how we're going to check in every week. Even though it says bi-weekly, this is like a check-in that you do every week 
to see where you're at because if you blow all of your eating out money in one week, guess what? You're packing your lunch, buddy. Yep. Right? Yeah. Okay. And it will kind of open your eyes to it. Very true. And then I made him a notes page because there's things he wanted to remember. And I figured if he had that easy, he'll have that right there with him. All right. So we'll go back to the budget sheet. And we're going to share a couple more things with you. But again, this is going to be a Mondays with Mama for the month of October to get him started on his budgeting journey. Um, if you have any questions, please put it down in the comments. We will address it next Monday when we meet together again. And we'll try to answer some of those questions that some of y'all might have about starting your budgets or working with someone who's starting a budget. So what are some things that you learned through all of this or how you feel about it? Uh, I feel really great about it um, overall. Uh, personally, like I think being a young adult uh, in my age, I think being a constant spender, like you said, just swiping a card, swiping a card, swiping a card all the time, it's very easy to lose track of your money and kind of just blow through all the money you make. Uh, for me, I think the biggest thing that I learned is that I need to, one, probably start making lunches here and there. <laughs> um, uh, and then just, uh, I don't know, I think something I really enjoyed learning was that there is ways that you are able to save money per month, no matter how much you spend. Yeah. And that's, that's like the coolest thing about it so far. Um, I still think I do have a lot more to learn, but I think the biggest thing that um, I'm also really liking is that I know I am constantly saving 500 bucks every two weeks. Like that is just like, I can keep that in the back of my head. It's like, man, if I keep this up for a long term, I'm really gonna achieve my goals and where I wanna get to. Yeah, and the important thing of eventually getting that high yield savings to earn one more interest, yeah. but also to not touch it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we'll have that emergency fund. So let's say you need something that happens to your car. We talked about you'll have that money that you can pull and use it for. Um, but we're not going to touch the high yield. Mm -hmm. And eventually we could build up your regular savings just a little bit more because, you know, but until now, this is the plan for now. We're going to get started. Um, he will share his reflection next Monday on how his first week went and with tracking with spending we'll do a check-in to see what his budget is looking like all of that so please come back stay tuned if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that hit that notification bell so that way you'll see when the next video comes up with me and my son here and you'll be able to check in with us um, again if you have any questions or you want to make any comments for my son he'll be here to answer them next week as always have a blessed day and we double love you. <laughs>